So Scott, I do a little bit of the electrical work at my house. Not much, you'll be happy to hear. Good. <laughs> and I've got one of these pen testers. In fact, I've got a couple of them laying around. Yeah, um, I like using them, and I'm wondering if this is all I need. Um, well, this is a great tool for determining if a wire is live without having to go inside the wire. Okay. You don't have to touch the copper with this. So it tests the voltage from the outside. That says it's hot. Make sure you got it on the right side, which is the hot side. And it also will test an outlet, but again, you got to make sure you're in the hot side of the outlet which is like that, it won't work on that side. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Before I open up a box, I find out if it's live. And even after I open it up, I just go around and double check each wire. It gives me the confidence to Double work on check that. it, triple check it. You should always keep checking it to make sure that there is no voltage there. So it checks for live. Does it do anything else? No, but this one's mine, so I'm gonna keep <laughs> that. Back. There are other things. This device here, and this plugs directly into the receptacle, gives you a quick test to determine if it's wired correctly or not, it gives you all kinds of lights and tells you what's going on with it. So depending on what these lights read, you just go up to the matrix right here, and if it matches, it tells you you've got a problem and which problem you have. That's right. Oh, that's great. Yeah, it's really good. And then also, secondary, is if you can get a visual on this tester mm -hmm. from your electrical panel, it'll help you shut the circuit off because oh, that way there, the lights go off. It's a little easier to right. do. All right, well, I don't usually have sort of a direct line of sight, so I do what probably most people do, which is tell my wife to get a lamp, go down to the outlet, plug it in, and I go start flicking switches until yep. she says, hey, that's the one. That's right. Everyone does that. Got to be a better way. There is. So the other tool that I've brought, we have this transmitter, which will plug directly into a receptacle, mm -hmm. and it sends a signal up to the electrical panel wherever it is in the house. Okay. And then this is a receiver. So then you would take this receiver, and it tells you which breaker you have, and you just shut it off. Wow, boy, that is great. I've got some breakers in my panel that are unlabeled, so yeah. now I can use this, go around the house, and I get everything figured out. Yeah, it's a great weekend project for sure. Terrific. Now, in my pouch, I usually keep a voltage tester like this. Okay. Now, this has the leads on it, a bunch of numbers, and basically what you do is you come up to an outlet here, you plug it in, it vibrates, it makes a sound, and it tells you you have 120 volts right here. Good information. So it's real quick, really easy to use. Now, it also has continuity. Continuity is basically when a circuit is completed full circle. Okay. And this is how we test it. When you touch two wires together like this, it makes an audible sound, and that's how you determine it. So in an instance here where you don't know what's going on in the middle here, you would touch this to that, and then you come over here to a light socket where you would touch the tab. Nice. That tells you that it's connected. And you're doing this when the power is shut off, because that's how you guys are working on it's these wires. It's all de-energized. We have to do things that so way. So that's connected. And that's not. Well, that is good information. So that's continuity. Sort of tells you what's behind the walls and how things are wired. Yeah, it's really good.